Okay, for this question, um, we can see here straight away they've given us a big clue what we've got to do, um, and it tells us that uh, this question is normally distributed. Okay, so they are normally distributed with a mean of 10, 20 a.m. and a standard deviation of 18 minutes. Now, doing time, uh, it's best to always have your mean set at zero where possible or some starting point. And it's also a good idea, of course, to draw your normal distribution. Okay, so if our mean time is 10, 20 a.m., I suggest you set that to zero. Okay, because what you're going to see here, uh, so our mean is equal to zero and we'll make our standard deviation equal to 18 uh, because dealing in time it's, a, it's not a uh, base 10 sort of um, scale so uh, it gets quite difficult. So what I'd also look at here is that we're trying to find between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Now the relationship between 10 a.m. well that's 20 minutes earlier isn't it than the mean and 11 a.m. is 40 minutes later okay so negative 20 and 40 so if we come back here and say this is 10 a.m that's in essence minus 20 on the scale and if we come up here and say this is 11 a.m that's in essence 40 minutes later so it's the negative 20 and the 40 that i'd put on the calculator and basically your probability statement would be probability that um, the mail will be delivered between 20 minutes beforehand and 40 minutes afterwards and that's what you're looking to find so uh, you get your calculator and um, you would I'll just uh, bring it up and you, your normal distribution screen would look a little bit like this Actually, I'll put it down over here uh, where I put uh, minus 20 for the uh, lower um, the upper is uh, 40 the standard deviation is 8 standard deviation is 18 and the mean is zero uh, because I've made 1020 zero and uh, you would come up uh, with an answer of uh, 0 0.8536 and that's your answer so the probability uh, that the mail will be delivered uh, between those times is 0.8536